Hello there everybody, we're Scott Reston here and today I'm back with another Minecraft video and in today's video I wanted to try out something different and that is to beat a challenge in three of the most popular Minecraft Bedrock mini games each varying in difficulty. And obviously if I do this with a mouse and keyboard, it's gonna to be too easy. So I decided to do it with a racing wheel. And yeah, without wasting any more time, let's just get into the video. And guys, this video is made possible by PXN, who make really high quality but affordable racing wheels and many other simulators as well. And guys, their V900 wheel is one of the most affordable wheels out there. And now that Forza Horizon 5 is coming out, there's no better time to upgrade from your controller to this super affordable racing wheel. And the V900 wheel wheel comes with a steering wheel with paddle shifters and a pedal set with two pedals. And the steering wheel has two rotational settings where you guys can change it from 270 degrees to 900 depending on what game you're playing. And it also has vibration motors built into the steering wheel which help makes it feel more realistic. And guys, it's also super simple to use. All you have to do is plug in the USB into your PC, PS4, PS3, Xbox, or Nintendo Switch and use the controller. That's it. And guys, don't forget to check them out. This wheel only costs about $120 and all the links in the description below. So yeah, again, big thanks to PXM for sponsoring this video. And now let's just get into it. So I decided to complete a challenge on three different mini games. The first easiest one being a real racing game on Galaxy, and that is to win a race. Then for the second game, we have Death Run, which is the medium one. And the challenge is to be able to finish on the top five. Then for the hardest challenge of them all is survival games. And I have to get a kill using a steering wheel. So the first game after setting up the keybinds was doing okay in the beginning but then as you guys can see I kind of lost it when I had to turn because I couldn't aim properly. After struggling to controls I think I got a grip with it and I finished P4 on the first lap. Well actually P5 because I got stuck on that tiny thing back there. And then the second lap went much better but I only messed up a couple times so it wasn't that bad. And then for the final lap I think I would have actually been able to finish this race P4 but sadly the timer ran out. Then on the second race I messed up the start. I basically forgot how to start Yo, the car. The? But nonetheless, we still made it up to P3 in the race. So I was actually fighting for P3 and P4 because the guy was actually very good. And then I was running in second place. Then on the final lap, since my friend Gobert is leading, I just told him to kindly get out of the way with some team orders and won my second race with the steering wheel, which was not too bad at all. So then we move on to our second game, Death Run. So as you guys can see, I think I did pretty well for the first time, but then I kind of used my leap at the wrong time and messed up. But nonetheless, we continue on. This parkour is extremely hard to do with the controller, but I think I managed to do it pretty well. Because the way I have now. to move my screen is to actually we rotate the steering wheel, which is super hard to do. Care. And then I think that I actually made it decently far into the game, but then this parkour is just too hard to do. But then after I got into grips, it wasn't that bad. And sadly, I couldn't finish the race on the first time. And then this was my favorite map. I almost made it through and was leading when I got exploded. But then we move on. And then I was doing well and I got caught off guard again. And then I managed to do the parkour properly somehow, probably because I just skipped it. And then I thought that I was doing pretty well, you know, sticking with the pack. And yeah, for the second attempt, it wasn't too bad. I actually finished the race this time, although it was just P12. Then this map, I really didn't think that I could do well in this map because this is so much harder than the rest of them. But I just continued on. And after slowly persisting through these hard courses, at the end, I actually managed to finish P6, which is just one away from actually completing the challenge. Finally, about after two hours of playing, this match came along. I managed to time the first jump perfectly and these killers weren't doing too well. So as you guys can see, I'm top three right now and almost leading the pack. The parkour came along and I managed to do it perfectly somehow. So right now we're top five and that's all we need. But I set my sights on a top three finish. Luckily, I didn't mess up on these parts and then I jumped all the way up to P3 right now. I knew that all I had to do was just finish the race properly because the killers were not doing too well. I tried lining up for this parkour and then I actually managed to even though I wasted a little bit of time. But then sadly, I messed up here and could not get a top three finish but as you guys can see I did finish top five thanks to a few bad killers and that's that challenge completed after about two hours of struggling and then on the first survival games I didn't really set up my keybinds properly but then we still managed to make it into the final death match because of my friend carrying me but since my keybinds were off I really couldn't do anything so I'm I just decided to, to jump off and end the misery and then after fixing my binds I managed to actually open a chest and then apparently I could just use the d-pad built into the steering wheel as a way to pick up the items and then I decided to go into battle but sadly I couldn't be much help to my friend who ended up dying 
to this team right here. And then I saw this, two people jumping up and down. This was my only chance to get a kill. So then I hit them and just basically all I did was just camp here and just try to hit one of them because I knew that this would be the only way I could get a kill. And then luckily, one more shot and I killed him. Even though I die at the end, that does not matter because I managed to get a kill. I was really hoping that my friend could finish the job and maybe that we could win this match, but sadly, the opponents were too good. But yeah, we still finished all the challenges. And guys, after about four hours of trying to complete these, albeit simple challenges, I finally did it. And props to the steering wheel for holding up that abuse of me constantly, aggressively using it for four hours straight, and it's still perfectly fine. But yeah, I highly recommend you guys check it out. All the links in the description below. So guys, that's actually pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, as it does help our channel, and it also does mean a lot to me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next one. Peace.